if I please could have your attention uh, so we can uh, start. Uh, everybody continue to enjoy your uh, key lime pie and barn hearts and so forth. I'm, I'm sorry you can't eat your key lime pie. They're glutenites. Excuse me. Thank you everybody for uh, being here. Uh, this is our our own Diamond Jubilee. The Queen had hers first week. We got out. We got a lot of memories uh, that go back when, uh, in the 50s and 60s and 40s and so forth. And uh, you all remember Tanners? And the little bags of peanuts? And the bobs And the uh, Oriental? And also uh, the Boar's Head? The Townhouse? A lot of great places that uh, a lot of people used to uh, meet friends there. Uh, all these things remember uh, Carolina and Plaza Theaters, uh, National Shirt Shop, WBT with Big Bill Ward, and Be a Good Sport wherever you go, uh, and Ratcliffe's, Ratcliffe's Flowers Bright the Hours. Oh, yeah. And on Thanksgiving Day of 1951, the uh, Central Wildcats beat Harding 14 to nothing. <laughs> 60-some years ago, uh, there was a group that started, including F.P. Wright and Bob Redd and Witt Spearman, who gathered a bunch of us guys uh, to uh, meet over at the Ryman Haas and with a planning of a reunion, but the, uh, I think the primary thing was to drink beer. <laughs> uh, and we had uh, Eric Jonas, Carter Terrell, uh, Joe Ratcliffe, uh, and then Joe Townsend, Bob Dillard, Donald Mel, and Jack Kirby. Um, if I admitted anyone that uh, was there uh, at that time, I'm, I'm sorry, but uh, I can re remember 62 years. Uh, now, um, as you probably noticed, there were no ladies invited in these planning meetings. But thank goodness it changed. And these ladies have been invaluable over the years. And uh, Hobby will talk about uh, them and introduce them shortly. Uh, we have had, this is our 12th reunion. We've had one every five years since 1960. We also celebrated when we turned 50, when we turned 60. Five, no, 60, when we turned 70, when we turned 75. But the big one was when we turned 65 and started getting Social Security. <laughs> We've also been uh, informed, entertained for well over 100 newsletters that have come out. Thank you, man, right there. Now, if you remember, it can, can most of you remember back to April? Uh, there was a paragraph about this guy, Hobby Cobb, serving his military service at Fort Ord, California. And he became an acquaintance with Tony Bennett. And they had kept up this correspondence over the years. And in the article, uh, you'll remember what took place if you could read the small print. So, Hobby, we got you, baby. 
Hey, Javi, where you at? There you are. Why don't you come up here a minute? I have a message for you. You remember Anthony Benedito, don't you? That's the real name of Tony Bennett. <laughs> well, he told me to tell you the loveliness of Fort Ord. And it goes, the loveliness of Fort Ord seems somehow sadly gay. The glory that was Fort Ord is of another day. I've been terribly alone and forgotten in Fort Ord. I'm going home to the city by the bay. Uh, General Cobb, you may be seated. Fort 
for California. Your golden sun will shine on me. Thank you. Thank you.